door is blocked from the other side somehow. We'll have to find a way around. Sm smells like food. Messy, tasty food. Nothing but dust and junk. Pick a Got a minute? I'm busy. Please, go away. Edward! How badly are you hurt? I'm not dead yet. But I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement, like you wanted, and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they... Decided to leave me alone in here. Yeah. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Let's get on with it. Just follow Strong, my instructions and everything will be fine. Around. Be careful, Jack. You too.
find a way through. Utility elevator is on the bottom floor. Come on, let's go. Well, that's it. Watch out. Oh, hell no. There. Managed to free Lorenzo before I can stop them. It's not worth thinking about. Kill everyone you see. Don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. trying to shut down the Abremlin field. That's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, we this will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. See, Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now! You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. Hurry, damn you! You'd best hurry it up. 
My son is quite capable of stopping you if he gets in here. I'm opening the main door. Hmm? Hurry! The umbrella is down. Where do you Apparently, have? even the simplest task is beyond <laughs> your capabilities. That's it. I can feel my strength returning. Now, I will finally be free. No! Make it be strong. Is that human? I just need a moment to enter the fighting human. Strong impressed. It's not too late. It will take some time for him to regain his powers. We still have a chance to yes. stop him. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four of Revelin generators to manual override, and I can run a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. You fool! Ah, at long last, you did the right thing. You'll see. Father, don't do this. Too late, Jack. Why don't you wait there so that we can have that little chat that's so long overdue? Get away while you can! It seems Jack doesn't want to talk to his father. We'll have to kill him, you know. And all the rest of them. I never agreed to kill anybody. Why else would you have opened that door? There's only one way forward now. But don't worry. You will be rewarded. What Jack has taken from me, I will bestow upon you freely. The gift of immortality. But first, I have some unfinished business to deal with. With your help, I trust. Meet me at Cabot House. I'm sure that's where the rats will congregate. Let's go! Hey, Strong. Here, eat meat before it's born. Why did you release Lorenzo? You were just keeping him prisoner to keep yourselves alive. That's a lie. I've worked for centuries to find a way to cure him. But he doesn't want to be cured. He likes what he's become. Hold on there, Jack. He has a point. Your story about curing Lorenzo has never quite added up. What are you doing, Edward? I'd just like to hear what he has to say. He's talked to Lorenzo. I never have. You're saying you think Jack's been lying about Lorenzo all this time? Yes. Lorenzo doesn't seem crazy to me. Although he's understandably pretty pissed off. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I gotta stick with Jack on this one. I can't believe you thought I was lying to you, Edward. After all I've done for you. Oh my... Ah, you're all here. How did you get in here? Why so surprised? This is my house, after all. I like what you've done with the place. 
Lorenzo, thank God you finally escaped. Jack just wouldn't listen. Be you silent. know I would never. You have all betrayed me. Kept me a prisoner and fed off me like vampires to prolong your pathetic, worthless lives. That is now over. Your time is up. Please, Lorenzo, get out of here. You're dead. Thank you for your assistance. You really are insane, aren't you? Perhaps, by the old definitions. But things have changed while I've been locked away. The old rules no longer apply. This new world seems to be one of limitless possibilities for people of our talents and inclinations. Don't compare yourself to me. We're nothing alike. If you say so. But first, one last piece of unfinished business. I promise to share my blood with you. And I always keep my promises. Here is your reward. I will provide you with a lifetime supply as needed. But remember, this is my gift to you. I will give you another vial when you need it, for your own use only. Do not sell it, or throw it away. After business, pleasure. Help yourself to a drink if you like. Jack seems to have done very well for himself, despite everything. Just getting started. 